friends welcome to excellent ideas the idea of these videos is to make you excel pro today we are going to discuss about offset formula with dynamic range let us see it with an example consider a scenario where there are five resources working in a process of call center environment they get some incentive or reward based on their weekly utilization the management gets a weekly report where the number of hours worked by an individual is reported so what formula needs to be employed here perfect you have to find the sum of number of hours worked by each individual and identify that particular individual whose utilization is maximum the concept is so simple why do we need to make it complex well the concept is simple but the task of execution is daunting because this is a continuous work the range of cells to be considered is dynamic the formula applied for one week should be amended for the next week since we have only five resources we can deal with it but what if the number of resources is more like 200 plus or so then we will have 200 plus number of sheets right isn't this a tedious task don't worry we have a solution for this you can create a template with dynamic range of cells in excel this is where we use offset function since the offset function gives the result of specified row or column away from the reference cell the manful effort of dealing with this problem can be optimized let's see where and how to apply offset functionality in the sum formula for doing this task you created a dashboard where the weekly utilization of the employees gets displayed in our case we first go to utilization cell of one employee and give the formula as equal to sum of offset of reference cell this is where we should give the cell from where the group of cells is to be considered we give d1 here going to the second parameter where you should give the number of rows to be considered since we need to consider all the rows which keeps on increasing we take the count of rows here comma third parameter since we are not going to consider the column offset we give zero here then comma the fourth parameter which is height well this is the place where you want to consider last five working days and as we have already given the count of rows in the row parameter we offset five rows from down to above we give minus 5 comma the fifth parameter is width since we are not calculating anything horizontally and we are calculating the number of rows vertically down on a single column we mention 1 mind you the height and width columns can never be less than 1 as we have to consider at least one column and one row done now check the usage of the formula by typing the utilization for next week now you may get a doubt can we use offset function function only with some formula guys we can use this formula with any excel formula mostly used with aggregate formulas like sum average maximum minimum and so on well let me clarify your doubt by using this formula with average function say for example this weekly rewarding idea is introduced to a bpo industry i am sure all my friends who was who are working in bpo industry would definitely appreciate this so with a small change that the individual gets a rewarded based on productivity the target is set for a daily volume of 50 in this case productivity is given by the resource manager in percentage since it's percentage we should never calculate sum we have to calculate average productivity for a week the offset formula is same we should give average instead of sum and refer to productivity column so the formula would be equal to average of offset of smarty this is a sheet name of the employee by name smarty smarty e1 count of e to e comma 0 comma minus 5 comma 1 one small improvement can be done in our dashboard instead of referring to the particular sheet by going to that sheet and selecting cells we can use indirect function this will make template more dynamic we will explain you about this formula in next videos one small note 
See how Smarty got rewarded despite working so flexibly for less than 8 hours but still met the target. Well, this shows how smartness works. I do have great clarity on the smartness of the viewers of this video who are smartly going to subscribe and keep us motivating to add more videos from our excellent idea inventory. Stay home, stay safe, be smart and stay tuned.